Nachos, welcome here. I am in the midst of doing my hair because today was shower day, which I mean just that in itself makes today so exciting because how often do I wash my hair? Not super often, especially in pregnancy because I'm just not as oily as usual, but I do miss just kind of styling my hair. I love it, it's therapeutic. I went to cosmetology school, worked in salons, kind of obsessed with hair. I'm also going to be cutting Kieran's hair, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's also a nice-ish day versus our usual rain, and then just to like top all of that, today is the day that the sustained necklace launches. I have been making and working on this necklace with windblown handmade jewelry. We hopped on a meeting and I pitched the idea to them to do something collaborative together and it was like, yes, let's do it. There's no time to spare. Like it was just really exciting and we all felt excited about it. And I wanted to create a pendant that was different from the usual kind of circular pendant. So we went for like a soft square. It's different, but still dainty. It's somehow classic and timeless, but kind of funky and cool. All the earnings that I get from this necklace goes to Casa Composiva. That is a safe birthing home for ladies in Mexico. They're taken care of through pregnancy, labor, and postpartum in physical ways, in mental ways, in spiritual ways, and I think it's really, really awesome what they do. So, the link to that is down below. I have to do so much towards that today. Instagram stuff, posting stuff, email stuff, talking to you guys. I'm gonna go live on Instagram today, which I love going live. I don't do it often enough, but I love talking to you guys. Whoop! I was literally up at 4.30 this morning. Just like I had a full on sleep, I felt good, woke up, and I just spent like an hour responding to your guys' DMs and messages and story replies, and it was like, oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. I also learned that one of my followers was named after Aslan from Narnia. That's sick. Kind of inspired by that, not gonna lie, with baby number four. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy today's vlog. I'm gonna finish up my hair my coffee. I'll actually show you some of the hair products I put in once I'm all done with this. And on, on, on. <laughs> and honestly, we're just gonna enjoy this day together. It's gonna be so nice. When you're watching this video, do you wanna know something really cool? It's my 26th birthday, which is also Good Friday, which is also the day that we remember Jesus' death on the cross. So I'm kinda struggling with that, but it's okay. <laughs> Any birthday will be better than my last birthday. Let's say that. Last year was like that fresh COVID birthday. I could, I just, I just, I could. <laughs> Anyway, cue the fast forward. While my hair is cooling, let's pick my outfit. Wow. The hair is cooling. It's pretty much all the way cool, but I like to let it sit for a little while. I thrifted my maternity wardrobe. If you haven't seen that video, I can link it down below. It's really, really good, and I found some sweet things. Most of them are kind of pertaining to the summertime, which I mean, we're getting there. We're, we're so close, we're getting there, and they're all great, but today it looks like we might go outside, so, so, okay. And it's not, it's not summer weather, so I don't know what to do. Um, this is gonna take me a while. The, I have, hold on again. I have this, this sweater. It's a men's sweater, but it, it's seriously probably one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I just thrifted it in that video, and I have been wearing this like crazy. I can't dress fancy because it's gonna be cold outside when we go outside, but I wanna be a little bit more like, or I guess a little bit less like, this, but I just I don't know guys okay, actually you know what we're going for cute cute casual I have this shirt let's do this shirt um, a nice little pair of jeans which that's dressing up when you're pregnant jeans you're dressing up actually they're not in jeans they're jeggings but I'm dressing up <laughs> and a solid pair of socks okay let me get dressed I'll see you in a bit okay thoughts I went for a different shirt because my other one is too short for these pants, but here's a little belly shot for you if you want to see what I'm looking like at almost 21 weeks. 
and we're wearing our sustain necklace. Again, the link is down below. Okay, let's finish my hair. This process, very, very simple. I take a little bit of dry shampoo. I do not do this for oil absorption in pregnancy because my hair just doesn't get oily. I just do it because it gives me some volume. So I shake, 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 shake. Woo, 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 woo. Then you can see we're starting to get the kind of spiky, short Sarah Therese looking hair. While my hair is kind of spiky and crazy, spray it with some texturizing spray. Kind of looks like this. And then as usual, tuck it behind the ear. Okay, I... Oh, I'm not even fully ready. I was like, I'm fully ready. I'm not, I need to go downstairs and put on my makeup. I think while I'm doing that, I'm gonna start doing some homeschooling with the kids. Okay, so the kids are doing some school. Ivy has her curriculum. Calvin, we have like this tracing book for him. <laughs> okay. And then Elizabeth, we got her to use one of the whoop, tracing papers because she just kind of wants to be a part. Do you want a color? Go ahead, pick a color. Good. So while they are doing that, I need to get ready for my day. I was about to hop onto my Instagram stories to announce the launch of the necklace. And then I was like, oh, we should put on a little bit of makeup. So gonna put on a bit, just a bit, only a little bit. Now this one, I'm going to try one. This looks great. When you do it, make sure you keep it nice and flat on here. You're gonna use this hand to draw and this hand, you put it down on your paper so it doesn't move and take your time. It is not very often I've ever released anything when it comes to like product or collaboration. I guess I'm a very picky person and... Mama, I want that. Nice. You see the owl at the top of the page? Mm -hmm. You see what's in his belly? I see. Mm -hmm. And that's beyond just my work. That's just like in general, but this is seriously like such a nice thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get right... You can do the snowman. Usually getting ready for me is just like powder, bronzer, blush. I do some brows and a little bit of mascara. I'm promising myself that this will be the first and only time I reheat my coffee. It needs to be, it needs to be. I actually heated it up about twice as long as I usually would because I'm just determined for it to stay warm for the entire time that I will hopefully be drinking it. This is what I've been doing for like my bronzer blush. Bronzer like on all the usual parts, but then also like blush it on the cheeks, which I find to be really pretty and natural. And I've been using Mojave Mauve, which is my only blush that I own, but it's just perfect and beautiful. This is by Cover Effects, and I'm just using all the cutting sounds you hear in the background is Ivy doing her school. I'm just using like this really glowy blush side and then I put it right like almost like it's highlight. It lifts the face so much. It's really natural and pretty. I've like been not really at all putting any blush like here or even here. Like I kind of just keep it like back upwards here and I think it looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish up my makeup because I feel like I'm taking too much time and then I need to do some posting to my Instagram. We have some stuff to do. I'll see you guys in a bit. sit for like the rest of what feels like forever. You know how like guys sit? Like how you sit, Karen? Guys yeah. sit, it's like open leg. That's where I'm at right now because my pelvis is just <laughs> Hold like... On, give, give us a visual of that, that, that leaning of back pose. You know, the guy, they go like this and they always keep their hand a little bit too close to the mm -hmm. inside of their leg. I'm not going to do that, but that, I just... I just don't, I don't feel like a lady right now and I'm pregnant, so like. What's with that? I don't know. This is like a Canadian thing, but like the sun in the clouds is like an ongoing issue. It's sunny, then it's cloudy, then it's sunny, then it's cloudy. It's like full on puffer, jacket, sometimes hats and mittens, like honestly, brutally. And then, but when the sun comes out, different story. It's like you could wear a bathing suit and it would be acceptable you know what i mean kieran like yeah. you you would just just enjoy the sun but then the clouds would come and then you'd pretend it's winter again a lot of focus on the now my legs are wide i'm wearing a t-shirt it's sunny and i have apple chips and you're wearing sunglasses and i'm wearing sunglasses and i did my hair today and you're talking with food in your mouth <laughs>
on a secret mission. What do you think we're getting? Uh, cupcakes. Ooh, that's a good bet. Maybe we'll get some cupcakes. We're back home and I, especially when I'm pregnant, I love coming home because then I can just drink a ton of water and not feel like I'm gonna have to pee like crazy on the go. So I'm gonna fill this up. I actually only peed once on the go. That's not bad. Usually it's like a handful of times. Once on the go is not bad. I'm not going to soda stream my water. I am just going to fill up my soda stream bottle. <laughs> Oh man. And as soon as it gets to the tippy top, that's when I can't hold it anymore and I know that it's the perfect water bottle for me. <sighs> hey guys. My previous video, I <sighs> I thought I was too short. I'm taller than that. This is good. In my previous video, I kind of shared with you guys where I'm at like mentally in this pregnancy, which was really, really nice and it just kind of felt like I was like talking to an old friend, it was cool. And I wanna show you kind of how I'm walking. So usually at the beginning of the day, I walk pretty normal, like I can walk with my legs closed and it's not too bad, but what time is it? It's like just after one o'clock and at this point, I'll show you how I'm walking and I'm trying to suppress like the pain through my pelvis so I walk as if my legs can't touch. Like, do you remember playing those games growing up? And I hated these, but it was at all the birthday parties and it was a stuffy or a pillow that you had to have in between your legs and then you had to walk across. That's just what I'm channeling constantly right now. That's where I'm at. Yesterday was really bad and today it's actually not as bad. I find, this is interesting, I find it's not as bad when I work out in the morning because I work, I'll show you guys. When I'm doing my ab exercises, when I'm pulling up from a squat or I'm bringing my arms up, I pull through my pelvis ab area. I hope you enjoy how I'm just like continually like changing the camera angles in this vlog. It makes me feel like my abs are more strengthened through the day and it just like pulls everything up. But what I'm realizing is like, I have good days and bad days. Sometimes my pelvis feels great. Sometimes it just, actually no, it never feels great. Sometimes it feels okay. Sometimes it feels really bad. What Kieran will usually do is like put his hands under my belly and then pull up. And I feel like it relieves a lot of pain or I have my belly band. It's nice looking a little more pregnant and waddling around in public because then people don't think I'm strange. I am seeing a pelvic floor specialist really, really soon, just after my birthday, and I'm so excited. And I also told Kieran on the drive home, I said, Can I just kind of wish today was my birthday and I almost want to pretend like today is my birthday because it feels birthday-ish. It's, it's a nice weather. It's the nice weather and the cupcakes and the fact that we're gonna order in food and I'm not making dinner because we're celebrating kind of the sustained launch and stuff. So we're gonna order in food because that's fun. Uh, what I should do is actually hop on my Instagram and do an Instagram live. I might start that. I might also do laundry. You know what, let's do laundry and then hop on Instagram live. I had, I did not know there was a kid in this bathroom behind me. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for the flushing noises to end. Hello, can you take this one and this one and I feel like there's another one. Can you, there's a, can you take, oh there is, it's behind me. Can you take these downstairs and put them on the counter? Thank you. We're live streaming. There, there we have it. Hey vlog, what's up? We are on Instagram live. And there's so many of you guys tuning in. You guys are asking for videos. You guys are asking for prayer. You guys are asking just questions and it's and it's so sick. It's so cool. I need to do this more. Aw, thanks for saying hi, you guys. Thanks for coming on, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to my vlog. So hold on a second. I am making tea for the kids, they were like, can we please have some tea time? So we're gonna have a little bit of tea time and then that is not a golf term. <gasps> you know what? Oh my gosh, you know what we're gonna do? Okay, I don't know, uh, how am I gonna? We're gonna hold both cameras at the same time. Check this out. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have 
tea time. I'm talking to my vlog. We're gonna have tea time. I'm gonna read a chapter from The Magician's Nephew because we're going through the Chronicles of Narnia. This is the Narnia series my parents had. I show you guys, I show my vlog. How cool is that? I'm gonna go ahead and do this seriously. All you guys are like, Sarah, your kids are so well behaved. They're like, they're, they're like breaking down walls upstairs. So hold, hold on a second. What are we reading? Do you remember what this book is called? It's called uh, Narnia. This is Narnia. The book is called The Magician's Nephew. Yeah. And without looking, who wrote this book? C.A. Lewis. Yeah, it's so close. C.S. Lewis. So close. That was so close. And this one is cute because it has pictures in it, which is cute. Tea time. We need to drink slow. Slow. <laughs> and it's peppermint and there's some ice, so it's it's nice and cool. It's gonna be symmetrical. It's gonna be symmetrical. So usually I would have it shorter here, longer here. So I'm just gonna keep it symmetrical. You want to keep it longer though, like you don't want to have I kinda, it. I kind of like the length. Yeah, but yeah. this is too long in the back. Well, it's just, it's just obviously not meant to be this one. No, this no it's grown up. It looks really good. Yeah, it's nice and sweaty right now. It feels so nice to have the water. Hey, what's the one that? Like popsicles and freezies. That's right, popsicles and freezies are great food. And yeah, ice cream! Yeah, you can eat it! Done. I'll show you guys my slippers. Ta-da, look at my brand new slippers. They're pretty expensive. It, it takes a while to get to this point for this type of a slipper. I have two of them. No pair is identical. That's why they're so expensive and cool. Anyway, and I have hair all over my belly. Kieran is ordering pizza for takeout. Gluten-free, dairy-free, just for me. Ta-da! Yes, please. Good pizza, thank you for the launch of the Sustain Necklace today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're gonna eat pizza. I love you guys. I hugged you in the last vlog. I'm gonna hug you in this vlog. It looks weird. It, it looks weird in your eyes, but they know. They know, they know. Ugh. I just wanna hug all you guys. Thank you for watching, for being here. I hope the Lord sustains you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I love the silence. <laughs>